We've all been there. Boring training programs that you can just sleep through. But what if the most brilliant training content can just generate itself? Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create your own AI powered training courses just from simple prompts. Today, we're talking about ProPros, which is an absolute game changer for any business. Link in the description below as always. When you sign in, you're going to see a page that looks like this, and this will just list off all your different courses. And you can see in the top right, we have a blue button and we can create a new course from scratch. We can create a course from templates, or use their ready to use courses, or create a course using AI. And we are going to create a brand new course filled with tons of different content and quizzes right now in this video very quickly. Why? Because we're using AI. Their AI is not a gimmick. It's like real and it works really well. So our course is going to be about Microsoft Teams. So now we can say, hey, this is what we want our course to be about. So we can put in like how to use Microsoft Teams, including chat, Teams, calendar, planner, activity tab, and video calls. So this is actually something I would use. So we can have pre-existing resources here. So we can like link to the Microsoft Teams website or say this was more specific to my own personal business. I can upload a PDF, a doc, a PowerPoint. I can upload files that ProProf can actually read, the AI model can read and use in our course. We now have a choice between a short course, which is like two chapters, a couple of pages per chapter, or a table of contents with three chapters, five pages per chapter, and one quiz per chapter. So we're going to opt for the table of contents. We want it to be a little bit more in depth. We want our employees to be able to go through and really understand how to use Microsoft Teams. So all I did was click next and the AI model is now starting to load all our different chapters and modules within our chapters and it is generating it all itself. This platform is extremely easy to use. As you can see, we now have a layout for our course. So we can see like chapter one introduction to Microsoft Teams and we have like getting started, understanding the interface, customizing your experience, setting up your profile. So let's say we said, hey, we don't want setting up your profile. We can just hit delete. That is now gone out of our course. Notification and alerts. We're like, okay, this is pretty good. Um, let's continue down. Let's see what's next. Using chat in Teams, creating and managing Teams, schedule and join meetings. The list goes on and on. Say we want to change collaborating with external users, we can just hit regenerate and a whole new topic is going to generate there based off what AI thinks could flow nicely next. So now we have like managing guest access in Microsoft Teams. Okay, so you can see here, we're just kind of going through and we are able to quickly add and remove lessons within our courses. So you can see here on chapter one, we can actually click add new page and that's just gonna generate a whole new page with a whole new topic, collaborating and channels and teams based off what the AI thinks within our course. When we are done, or if we wanna go back and edit, we can just modify this, type in whatever we want, but let's not type in gibberish. We can click generate course. It is going to have a progress bar that loads here that you can see it is at 28, 30% as I'm saying it, it's too quick. And you can see it kind of generating. When it's done, it's gonna bring you back to the dashboard in just a moment, as you can see here. Our course is now finished generating. You can see it is a draft. We can click edit. That is going to load our entire course. And we can see all the content that it just created for us, the ProProf AI made for us. So we can see the overview here and all the core features about Microsoft Teams, chat, meetings, calls. It looks really good and even goes through and tells the user saying, hey, here's the left navigation bar and here's how you use stuff, conclusion. And then we can click each part of our page and we can go through and modify it if we want. So we have a section here called setting up Microsoft Teams. It goes on to say, hey, here's how you set it up. But we can always add stuff in. So like our company will give you the login information. So it basically gave us a very good template that we can use. You'd have access to all the different feature sets like bolding, italic, adding in images and all sorts of stuff. And it's all built in, but we have a very good base to now start with. We are not starting from the ground zero. We have a very good course just ready to go. It even created a quiz for us. And you can see the quiz here. We have to enter our name. We can modify it. We can click reports. We can even see the reports of people that have finished our quiz. If you want to modify your quiz, you can click edit and that's going to load up a new screen. And we have to do this anyway, because the questions aren't great there. It's like the earth is a third planet from the sun. We can always use the pro profs AI to say, Hey, suggest questions based off Microsoft teams. And it is able to go through and modify our questions, add new questions. And you can see here, look, here's our questions. How do you start a new chat in Microsoft teams? And we can just quickly say, Hey, 
let's check on this one and let's say, hey, add these to our quiz. And now we can go to our quiz and the quiz will be updated with some of these new questions. We'd have to remove the old ones, but you can see here, what's the main purpose of Microsoft Teams? Oh, it's there. Can you start a new chat? Yeah, you can. You'd have to click on the calendar tab. We'd still have to add our additional options, but it made it a lot easier to get a quiz created because of their AI system built in. If you notice at the top as well, there's training maker, which is what we were on before over here. They also have survey maker. So we can click that, we can send out surveys. The survey we create can just be like a standalone survey. It can be like an in-app survey or web form or pop-up sidebar. They give you a lot of different options for everything you do within this app. So you can see here, we are just kind of going through, we can modify our content like before, and we have a nice little course about Microsoft Teams we can send out to our employees and really have workplace development. There's also all sorts of different settings we can do for our course. So you can kind of see, hey, the number of attempts allowed on quizzes, or do we want to show logout links? How about security? Is this public or private? Can I get notified when someone takes my course or every single time someone attempts to do the course? They also have integrations with like MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, so on and so forth. And there are some advanced options that you have access to. Because this is a brand new course, my reports has no insights, but you'd actually see exactly all the different users and what they've been able to complete on your course so far. You get some detailed statistics. When we're ready to go, we can hit preview if we want. We can see the course before the user does. We can preview as a learner and we can say, okay, this is what our employees will see. And we can kind of scroll down. We can see what our course looks like. It gives them an overview. They're going to hit start. They're going to enter their name. So my name is Franklin Subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, do it now. I cover AI on a daily basis. But now you can see exactly what a user will see. And you can see exactly what their course will look like. So we just finished the getting started. And now we can go to understand. And I would have to read all this. And then I'd go to my quiz and do the quiz. And then as the person running the course, I'd get feedback and say, hey, this is where the user finished and this is what their statistics are. If we're ready to go, we can click the send button up here. We can start inviting people. We can schedule out invites. We can get a link and just share it out that way. We can share it out on social media. We can even embed the course or have a QR code to our course. And if you didn't notice at the top here, there's like desktop preview. You can see on a tablet as well as a phone and it actually even shows you the physical aspect. Like I mentioned before, I think this is a game changer if you're like a business HR, if you wanna do just like corporate training, it is really cool. The fact you can set this up really quickly. It just allows companies to really streamline their onboarding process, streamline their training process. Someone I know goes into a monthly meeting learning about Microsoft Teams. And I think this would be a much better approach because now they can just literally set up one course, set it up and send it out to all their employees so everyone can access all the learning content, all the learning material in one location, which would save the business time and money. As I showed you before, if we go to create course, I can actually use like a template, for example, and there are a bunch of different templates we can pick from. So I'm not always starting with AI. I'm not always starting from scratch. It could be like an onboarding template or employees benefit template. You can see the list of templates that they offer. It's a pretty good list. If we go back, we can also say, hey, let's use a ready to use course. So what exists that's just out there ready to go. And there's like data security training templates and PPE training templates. ProPros really thought through it all. On the left side here, you can actually sort by like leadership and management or employee skills, cybersecurity, which is extremely important. And then we can actually like scroll down and then we can say, hey, do we want it under 30 minutes or one hour plus? And we can say, okay, let's just have like a quick little course about cybersecurity and just a couple of clicks of a button. We actually have a course that's already pre-made for us. So we can say, hey, ransomware awareness. Let's see this course and it's 10 minutes long. Let's work with this one as our starting point. I think from an AI perspective, ProPros really nailed this. It's not like a gimmick, it actually works and it makes a lot of sense. It's not doing everything for you, but it's a very good assistant tool because it works with you. So it adds the content, but you still have to go back and like modify it. You still get the human in the loop approach where everything kind of works really well together.
Let me know what your thoughts are about this one. Leave a comment down below. Is this something you'd use if you're a business? Is this something you plan to use, HR, whatever you're in? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you wanna see more of it. Don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis, all sorts of tools, a huge range. So subscribe if you're interested in more of that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video.